wrap that up and give it away for Christmas next year. Yeah, two more, son. What's up, my videos? Hi, Daddy. Hey, doing? Hi. Just go, dude. You have to go. You're really ruining my world. Hi. What's up? How you doing, man? Hey, big guys. Good to see you, man. I can't wait till that rock is done. Four down the street. Yeah, we definitely. You have two cheeks. Have some rice. You want rice? I'm gonna come to your room while you're sleeping and take pictures. Better than the teriyaki burgers at Wendy's. I'm sure it's How am I doing? Am I doing all right with these things, huh? Please, nice. Two, 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 hey, 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 hey. Hey, you know, one, two, two, hey, hey, one, two, two. Oh, okay. 
MMG というレコード会社でスキッドローを担当しております長島です、まあ、彼らとはデビュー当時ですから今から3年半ぐらい前からずっと付き合っているということですけれども、まあ、彼らの成長度といったらばこの3年間でどれだけ成長したかというのは皆さんもお分かりだと思いますそれは1枚目のデビューアルバム「スキッドロー」と2枚目の「スレーブ・トゥ・ザ・グラインド」の違いが彼らの成長度のスピードだと思います。私が期待してた以上のスピードで彼らは成長し続けておりますですので次のアルバムには彼らがどういうことをやってくれるんだろうかということも非常に期待できますし果たしてこのセカンドアルバムからどういうショーをやってくれるのかなっていうのも非常に興味津々です現在、まあ、ガンザンローですと、えー、全米ツアーしておりますがあれはあくまでも前座ツアーとしての彼らでしかありません、えー、実際演奏しているのは40分から50分ですけれども今度、えー、日本に来た時多分、えー、今年中に来れると思います、えー、その時には、まあ、1時間半以上のヘッドライニング真の意味でのヘッドライニングアリーナショーをやってくれると思いますですので彼らのそのセカンドアルバムの「スレーブ・トゥ・ザ・グラインド」からどういう精神性が見られるかそのステージでは多分素晴らしい、えー、ものが出てくるではないかと思っておりますそれ何
Dude, did you get wet from that beer? <laughs> I can see it on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Hot potatoes? Smells Actually, like bad snatch around here, if you ask me. That was pretty righteous. That was amazing. <laughs> Felt really good, too. <laughs> to my home. Yeah. 
Really? Did you tell Eric? He has to wear diapers to bed at night, though. Hey, Baz! Hey, Baz! Hey, hey, hey! Baz! What are you? Please, please, please! Baz! Hi! Hey, Baz! Hey, Baz! Hey, Baz! Please, I gotta talk to other people! He's got Baz in his car and shit. Oh, yeah, he's probably... How you doing? Hey, dude! What's up, man? I'm a fucking bad man. Good. Here's yeah, the new tune that we're on. What's up? Ballsy, you kept it ballsy. You didn't fucking whip out. <laughs> I knew you guys were doing it. Chicago, seeing people that we know from Japan. I don't get it. What's happening? Tokyo, dude. Yeah. <laughs> what are you, at 22? No, we're good. Oh, 11 and 12. Oh, cool. Hello, Japan. Come to see the monkeys. What's up, man? How you doing? We got four. Cool, man. See the monkeys. <laughs> How do? I got bananas out there. The whole thing. And the sculptures are bizarre looking. Are those yours? Did you make them? No, there's a group of about six or seven people. Those are bizarre. There's more in my Really? Really cool. Yeah, that little huge stain vibe. Oh, really? So the guy probably threw it underneath the bed. You guys gonna get in that fucking stack? Yeah, that's why we got this location. How you doing? Fucking location. What a fucking goof. My daughter's gonna flip when you she finds out that you guys. That looks rude, don't it? I did this Good. roof. Let her eat it. Hey, she played a room for two now. <laughs> oh, that's cool, too. Yeah, look at these. Yeah. Yeah. I'm never gonna stop. 
Oh, <laughs> you're done. I play in a band called Skid Row, we are a bunch of jerk-offs. A band called Skid Row, we like to fucking kick people in the ass. In the ass. How's that? That was good. I think people around us felt the pressure more than the band did. You know, everyone was wondering what the hell we were going to do and, and uh, where we were going to go and what type of songs we were going to write. We knew what we wanted to do, it was just a case of doing it. And once we all got together, I mean, we kind of realized that we all had the same focus. And that's really important. To get five guys on the same page, more or less, is a really hard thing to do. And it wasn't something that was forced, it just kind of happened. We knew where we wanted to go with our music and uh, where we wanted to take it. So I don't think that we felt any pressure ourselves personally. You know, every once in a while, uh, things would get a little lax in maybe the songwriting department when we were off the tour because your life changes so much and you have to readapt yourself. And uh, I can remember one particular time where Baz called me up and, and he goes, dude, are, are you okay? And I go, well, what do you mean? He goes, I'm just not hearing you come out in some of these things. You know, you're not, you're not coming up with the shit that I know you to come up with. And it kind of took that for to spur something inside of me. It tipped me off, and I just, from there on end, it was like one after another, riff after riff after riff. And he's like, "Yeah, there you go." It was like, "You need that. We need. We do that amongst each other." You know, if someone is fucking off or fucking up, it's like it's not an animosity thing. It's kind of like a friendship thing where you got to say to the guy, "Hey, look, you know, maybe you're not holding up your end of this bargain here, right at this point, you know." And that's good because. It happens with everybody in the band. Some, at some point or another, you get a little lazy or you get a little lax, and it takes someone else that's close to you and that cares about you to put it back in perspective for you. Eric, what do you want me to face? Where you are now is perfect. And on you? Yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah. Three, four. Three, four. Yeah. Eric, same thing. That was good. Was that too much spit for you, though? No. Uh, yeah, I was like, yeah. see all this spit. Like, I you feel good it. about that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're the right stoppage. Cool. Okay, we're gonna change the setup now for the drums up on the blockhouse. We need Rachel. 
don't you know You guys why. say hi to Japan, man. You don't know hi, why. Japan. Hey, Japan. Hi, Japan. Hey, Japan. Hey, hey, what's up? What's going on with the lake? But Aerosmith. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Oops, God. He doesn't know what slave to the grind means. <laughs> Scotty, did yeah. you put money in the meter? I don't know. No, hold on. Let's I put a I quarter think, in. I think. <laughs> I always say. <laughs> what is that? I could think of anything oh. Japanese. Oh. <laughs> That's so hilarious. <laughs> Usually everything I always say. <laughs> Think of that sentence, man. I don't even want to think of that sentence. <laughs> uh, I'd have to say that's usually everything I always say. Well, that was the first half. <laughs> Wait, think of that. What are you looking at? What are you? What are you, a parrot? What are you, my mother? I talk to my mother. Wait, um, I'd have to say that everything. Usually everything I say. And yes. I'm sorry about that, but you know what? You know what? <laughs> I said I'm Madonna, and I can do anything. Okay? So get the f out of my friggin' fucking fucking face, you motherfuckers. <laughs> if you want to listen to pop fucking metal and shit, go buy the Nelsons record. You know, I don't. I want nothing to do with that shit because that's what I think it is. Fucking garbage. You know, I want to play the music that I like. Yeah. I don't, I'm not saying that every ballad is a piece of shit. Right. And I'm not saying that I Remember You is no good, because I think it's fucking great, you know. But I have no desire, lyrically, to whine and complain about how lonely I am when I got to play in front of 40,000 fucking people every night, you know. I don't get it. Okay. It doesn't make any sense. The ballads on this record are about different, uh, you know, Lyric, lyrical standpoint, they have different lyrics. Uh, one of them is about heroin use, called Wasted Time. One's about uh, losing faith in God, or trying not to. When you look around, you see how fucked up the whole planet is, called Quicksand Jesus. And I love singing like that, I love singing like that. But it's just the same fucking cliched lyrics that you hear by every band. You know, yeah. Desmond Child fucking crap, yeah. you know? Yeah. I like real emotion music. Like, when you hear Aerosmith, you're like, oh man, what are they gonna fucking do this year, you know? Well, how are they gonna take it to the next level? And every record sounds fucking different, you know? Or even Motley Crue do that, you know? You're always going, what are they gonna fucking sound like this year, you know? There's like a, you know, an element of danger and surprise, you know? Maybe next year we'll be all fucking ballads. I don't know, it depends on what mood we're in. We don't write for our pocketbook. Right. We write for our heart. Right.
That's what I want. Is that, will that stand up too? Sure you could. A wall or something, huh? That's amazing. It's got that steel frame all the way through it. Yeah, this is the one I want. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Got the pal woman there. Cool. I might want to do some like time exposures with you later, but makeup won't matter at okay. all. So don't, don't worry about okay. that. Okay. That might be. Your camera is. I just can't wait. I think we're supposed to come back for a month in Japan, and we've all, we've been there for six, seven, six, seven to ten days at a time, twice. And uh, this the next time we go to Japan, I believe we're going to be there for a month. We're gonna we're gonna visit the whole country, and uh, we're gonna get to see everybody, everybody that wants to see us anyway. <laughs> so uh, we're looking forward to getting there. Good. Yeah. For me, T Rex, Sex Pistols, Plasmatic, Hanoi Rocks, Jesus Priest. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bunch of them, but you can't, it's hard just to pick one. Nazareth, yeah. <laughs> Man, So, yeah. when you guys go out on the road, do you carry tapes? Do you listen to What have you been listening CDs, to? CDs, yeah. Tons. We listen, listen to Pantera, and, uh, Suicidal, Chrome Eggs, Slayer. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Watch we were watching you. Thank you. Hey, stupid. <laughs> oh, yes, it did. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 it didn't. No, no, I'm not. I can't. Not. I'm not. Uh, Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come I'm serious. Are we bigger than go. fucking Bruce Springsteen? Oh, much. Uh, he never debuted at number one on Billboard, right. dude. Just a penis. Are you joking me? No. No, you guys are fucking serious. shit. Dude, it's It's the shit. My girlfriend fucking wakes up. She goes, Melissa left a message on the phone. She said, you guys, I think that you debuted on Billboard. Uh, I don't know. I think number one. 
<laughs> and I go, do you think or do you know? He's like, I don't know. And we went. And we Congratulations, went. Congratulations, boss. Thanks, dude. We went gold to Japan. We're bigger than Springsteen. We went gold to Japan <laughs> one day. I already knew we were bigger this way. Mr. Right. Bar. Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh. No, that's number cool. one, dude. dude number one, dude. Number one. Number one. <laughs> cool. Not number two. Number one, Ooh. Sebastian. Number one. It's a dirty job. Somebody's got to do it. I can't go to sleep now. And Skid Row, Slave to the Grind, Michael Jackson, Bad, Whitney Houston, and Skid Row. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, do you know how big that is? You know, big time, brother. Billboard debuting at number one. Right. I can't believe it. Mm. So I wonder if we get. And we don't even sound like the Nelsons. <laughs> so I wonder if we get a sound check tonight. Dude, we had, <laughs> <laughs> had 150,000 five days. 100,000 five day. Dude, no, 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 no. I can't believe this. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's, no, 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 no. It's so unbelievable. <laughs> oh, baby. Right. Lots, lots of pussy, lots of drums, drums, lots of boots. We played so many the fuck out. Right out. Real right, fast right, right. ones. Your record and my record just debuted on the Billboard charts at number one. Yeah! Fucker, number one, you piece of big shit. I'll call you later. Yeah. 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 Isn't that amazing? Just <laughs> watched the scariest movie. Oh, yeah. The serpent, the serpent in the Rainbow. Oh, yeah. Some, man, that was fucking scary, man. You guys don't fucking quit, do you? <laughs> <laughs>
一夜にしてスターになったというような感じなんだけど、まあ、でもな連中にしてみれば。すごく中にそのガッツってハングリー精神っていうのが日本人日本のバンドにないそういうワイルドっていうのかなそういうものをすごく感じてやっぱこれはなんかやっぱり特にあのボーカルのセバスチャンなんかはあのなんかやっぱり光るもの何がいいっていうわけじゃないんだけどやっぱりあこいつすごいなっていうそういうすごくあのなんか光るものを持ってるっていうのかなそれでもやっぱりすごく。印象を受けたしあだから彼らは絶対これは、まあ、次回っていうかね2年前から比べると1年後にはすごいバンドになるだろうなという印象はやっぱすごくありました。
This is to all the Japanese Skid Row fans. ワールドトップ4バレー。